Hey guys, somebody tried to destroy this ancient temple. As you can see, this ancient statue is lying on the floor. This is the statue of Kali, a fierce goddess. And on November 20, 2020, it is said that locals heard strange noises during nighttime. And when the authorities came in the morning, they found out that the statue was in this position. They have tried to dismiss it as a mere accident. Police say that nothing was stolen. So why did someone come to a very remote village in India and break the statue? They have claimed that it fell naturally, but that's impossible because stone statues don't naturally fall by themselves. And two, people have tried to destroy this temple for more than 900 years. As soon as I entered the temple, I noticed something very odd. All the carvings in the front have been deliberately removed. They have methodically destroyed and completely defaced these carvings. Why? Let's go inside one of the shrines. Here, you can see a fantastic stone structure. It looks amazing. But the lingam, the main cylinder that was supposed to be in the middle, is gone. It has been carefully removed. Why? Who would do such a thing? Even on the ceilings, the destroyers have carefully planned and disfigured the carvings. It's done with such attention that we cannot recognize the original carving, so we are not able to decode the ancient information. But let's investigate why people have repeatedly tried to destroy this temple. This is one of the entrances to the main chamber. On top, the rectangle which had a carving has been completely defaced. And at the bottom, you can see this figure, which is also hacked. We cannot see the details clearly. And on the other side, this carving is also completely destroyed. And then these four stone blocks as well, they are completely defaced. Some experts have claimed that Islamic invaders destroyed this temple because they don't believe in idol worship and are not allowed to see images. But this cannot be true because on both sides, you can see two guardians. They are completely untouched. If these carvings were destroyed by Muslim kings, why would they leave these two carvings? Whoever destroyed and is still destroying these carvings are doing it because they don't like the information in these carvings. And the carvings in this temple are hiding some insane details. For example, what do you see? Your natural instinct is to look in the middle where people have destroyed a beautiful lingam. But no, see here, at first sight, you think this man is pulling a rope, but no, that's his intestines. He has cut open his belly with a sword and is removing his own intestines, which looks like a twisted rope. His face is deliberately disfigured to make sure we cannot identify him. Right next to him, you can see a woman. I'm not exactly sure what they are trying to show here but her legs are tied using a snake, symbolizing a venomous virgin or Vishakanya. In case you don't believe my theory that this guy was cutting up his own stomach, it's okay because I also did not believe that in the beginning. Look at the other side. This giant figure is cutting off his own head with a sword. His hair looks quite fancy and he's holding his hair firmly with one hand while decapitating himself. There are three very strange details here. In spite of killing himself, he's also in the process of killing someone else because he's standing on the face of this man. The victim is not dead yet because you can see his hands in the namaste pose begging for mercy. On the other side, 
you can see a mysterious figure fully clothed from top to bottom, calmly looking away. The third detail is the most important. You can see a coin here. This means locals are still worshiping this figure. I'm not able to identify this figure, but if I talk to the locals, I could find more information and unravel the story. Why are these two self-destructive figures posted as guardians of this lingam? Who destroyed their faces and who removed the cylinder out of its base? On top, you can see another strange figure called Vetala. Its hair looks like spaghetti and it has fangs coming out of its mouth like a vampire. It is said that if you see his face, without blinking for five seconds and don't apologize for staring at him, he will give you nightmares tonight. What about this one? Here's a figure that's headless and is holding his head with his own hand as though he's giving it to someone else, like a trophy. The head is actually held upside down and the figure is holding it with a bun of hair. On the other side is a similar figure doing the same. In between these two figures, you can see two giant footprints. But I just feel bad for this guy. This is a weird situation for him. If you notice the outer walls, you feel very strange because most ancient Hindu temples are full of carvings. But these walls are almost completely blank and have no carvings. Maybe the original carvings were destroyed and then the rocks were polished to give an appearance that it had always been blank. But there's one carving left. Let's take a look at that. Her face is completely destroyed. Why? Okay, let's back up and do a simple head count. One, two, three. On the bottom, you can see this guy lying down without a head, and there's also an animal. Is it a dog waiting to eat the remnants or something? Inside the deep dark chambers, there are lots of strange carvings. Almost all of them bring out a sense of awe and fear. There are many hidden carvings in this pitch black inner chambers. This is how the original Kali statue looked. It had fangs and it was guarded by these skeletal figures carved around here. Now the Kali statue has been restored and looks similar to this. If you visit this temple, the atmosphere invokes a strange feeling inside you even today. Something is very different about the design of this temple. There are four different chambers housing four different gods in the same place. Not only are the deities unique, this temple's architecture is completely different. Nine towers of different sizes put together, apparently with no rhyme or reason. Archaeologists admit that this temple was not designed based on any pre-existing temple in this region. They say this is the very first Hoysala temple. Now, what is Hoysala? Hoysala denotes an ancient empire that ruled this region from 10th to 14th century. And Hoysala architecture showcases a unique feature in its temples. Lathe turned pillars. Archaeologists confirm that this temple is the origin of lathe turned pillars. What you see here are the very first pillars created with lathe technology. Remember the first time I posted about ancient lathe technology in India? It became viral. And since then, some people have argued that Look, India was a very rich country. They had great kings and they had a huge workforce, lots of horses and elephants, slaves and soldiers. So with an enormous amount of hard labor, 
they could have managed this lathe technology without advanced machines. But archaeologists found inscriptions confirming that this very first temple was not built by a king at all. It was built by a merchant, a businessman, by the name of Kulahana Rahuta. So how did a regular guy who did not have access to logistics and huge labor force make the very first lathe pillars? This is why some archaeologists are calling this temple pre-Hoysala, meaning they don't think Hoysala kingdom had anything to do with it. They think the Hoysala kings were so impressed with this temple that they borrowed some aspects like late pillars, maybe even the logo, but left out all the scary and self-destructive carvings. In a way, they are right in calling it pre-Hoysala because other Hoysala temples get thousands of visitors every day. But people say this temple gets less than 10 visitors every month. Because today, most visitors are Hindus coming to worship gods, and others are usually tourists trying to admire the beautiful carvings. This temple does not have any of that. People expect to see beautiful gods. They just don't understand what is shown here. If people do visit this temple, they usually leave with a sense of blank expression. So why was the Kali statue destroyed recently? Who systematically destroyed these carvings? What was the idea behind constructing this ancient temple? Why were these strange carvings put here? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I am Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.